Thomas and the Guard Thomas the Tank Engine is very proud of his branch line. He thinks it's the most important part of the whole railway. He has two coaches. They're old and need new paint, but he loves them very much. He calls them Annie and Clarabel. Annie can only take passengers, but Clarabel can take passengers, luggage and the guard. As they run backwards and forwards along the line, Thomas sings them little songs, and Annie and Clarabel sing too. When Thomas starts from a station, he sings, Oh, come along, we're rather late. Oh, come along, we're rather late. And the coaches sing, We're coming along, we're coming along. They don't mind what Thomas says to them, because they know he's trying to please the fat controller. And they know, too, that if Thomas is cross, he's not cross with them. He's cross with the engines on the main line who have made him late. One day they had to wait for Henry's train. It was late. Thomas was getting crosser and crosser. How can I run my line properly if Henry is always late? He doesn't realize that the back controller depends on me. And he whistled impatiently. At last Henry came. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Thomas crossly. Oh dear, my system is out of order. No one understands my case. You don't know what I suffer, moaned Henry. Rubbish, said Thomas. You're too fat. You need exercise. Lots of people with piles of luggage got out of Henry's train, and they all climbed into Annie and Clarabel. Thomas had to wait till they were ready. At last a guard blew his whistle, and Thomas started at once. The guard turned round to jump into his van, tripped over an old lady's umbrella, and fell flat on his face. By the time he had picked himself up, Thomas and Annie and Clarabel were steaming out of the station. Come along, come along, puffed Thomas, but Clarabel didn't want to come. I've lost my nice guard, I've lost my nice guard, she sobbed. Annie tried to tell Thomas, we haven't a guard, we haven't a guard, but he was hurrying and wouldn't listen. Oh, come along, oh, come along, he puffed impatiently. Annie and Clarabel tried to put on their brakes, but they couldn't without the guard. Where is our guard, where is our guard, they cried. Thomas didn't stop till they came to a signal. Bother that signal, said Thomas. What's the matter? I don't know, said his driver. The guard will tell us in a minute. They waited and waited, but the guard didn't come. Beep, 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 beep. Where is the guard, whistled Thomas. We've left him behind, sobbed Danny and Clarabel together. The driver, the fireman and the passengers looked, and there was the guard running as fast as he could along the line, with his flags in one hand and his whistle in the other. Everybody cheered him. He was very hot, so he sat down and had a drink and told them all about it. I'm very sorry, Mr. Guard, said Thomas. It wasn't your fault, Thomas. It was the old lady's umbrella. Look, the signal is down. Let's make up for lost time. Annie and Clarabel were so pleased to have their guard again that they sang, as fast as you like, as fast as you like, to Thomas, all the way. And they reached the end of the line, quicker than ever before.